Hello everybody, not such a good second game against Orcs, but um, there you go. What's he got? He's got his apple, he's got a movement of blitzer, missing a blitzer, so I guess the quality of his team is down a little bit compared to a starting team overall. Um, but he has got the apple. And of course, <laughs> death roll the dwarves. <laughs> didn't get any skill ups, didn't get enough for an apple. <laughs> 40k rerolled into 20k. <laughs> oh god. So I would really like an apple, especially obviously with 11 men. I uh, can't get anything either because a babe would cost us 10. Need the apple. Uh, babes really, you more likely to get cast than KO'd as dwarves. So, nothing. Vampiric Rat Ogre on three teams. It must be, yeah, because it's any must. Maybe he lost a Rat Ogre, so he gave them a completely unplayable Mega Trait that some people think isn't that bad because they're not good at Blood Bowl, I guess. Um, should we kick and defend with a roller? Yeah. Chevrons, the old Chevrons. It protects the agile men's, doesn't it? I haven't saved one as two, you fucking stupid shithead fucking game. God, I hate this game. <laughs> right, he's got a movement up. I know that. Hello, man. Hello. Zeros on the LOS. Five on the wings. Two on the wings. I don't know, maybe he's in here. No, the rehiring rules are especially kind to dwarves, Moradan. <laughs> it's actually amazing. It's actually amazing. The rehiring is incredible for dwarves. It's like made for dwarves. It's intended that it applies. No, actually not. So Moradan and Penamu in duo Varnis. Um, it's explicitly intended to. However, it doesn't. <laughs> so I expect a day one errata to say that it does. It does not block its own player, therefore it cannot use Mighty Blow. But it does say all applicable skills must be used. So that obviously Mighty Blow is not applicable to knocking down your own players. But it's obviously intended to, yeah. It's clearly intended to. Oh, lovely kick. And got a reroll. Beautiful. I mean, you could just feed it snotlings, but it's still just not, it's not something you want to feed. Like, you don't want to feed it. It's, it should be, it's like really stupid, basically. It's, it's horrible, man. It's so horrible. Plus, it's not a troll. I mean, that's not rules lawyering, Dr. Mavosco. It, it, there's no, I, you know, I don't understand what rules lawyering is. You read the rules and you apply the rules as written. That's all you can do. Because if you, if you argue about intent, then you can't prove intent, can you? So, they have to errata it. They just have to. 
because it is yes it it looks like it's intended but we don't know that it's intended but it, i mean it it sure looks like it's intended Oof. already taken as many av breaks as the entirety of last game <laughs> dirty dino hey oh he's got four rerolls though I mean, he didn't roll many one and nines, did he? The elf coach. To be fair, he didn't roll many one and nines. He was pretty lucky in that regard. He's basing up with his black orcs. Yeah, reading <laughs> the rules. Indeed, Penamiria. Yep. Makes his pick up with Mr. Not not with Mr. Throw. <laughs> you gotta love it when people take Mr. Throw and don't even use him. Proving how absolutely garbage he is. I should have moved these first, shouldn't I? I should have made the safe moves first. I should have done. Oh, I should have pushed him onto him, maybe. Hmm. Right, cheeky three on him. I wanted to make it three, didn't I? But maybe I should have stuck the black orc on him. I don't really want him one-on-one -on -one versus a loner line orc, do I? <laughs> maybe, C-sharp, maybe. Exactly, Papa Piccolo. Yeah, you can't, can you? Um, well, rules lawyering, I... It just pisses me off because my, my friend uh, plays 40k and he will argue the most ludicrous interpretation of English of a sentence. And I guess that's what rules lawyering is. Everything else is people just playing properly and people whining about it. Mr. Throw, yeah, it's amazing how bad Mr. Throw is in Blood Bowl 2020. He really is absolute garbage. I didn't like exposing the runner there, but what can you do? Whee! Annoyed that you got these extra rerolls. <laughs> yeah, the the one time I played Sage on Fumble, he outbashed me with uh, I had Undead and he had Woodies and he outbashed me. If you get outbashed by Woodies, you're in for a hard time, aren't you? But that's it, and anybody can. Okay. Okay, so he goes it on him, which is all right. Would really like a power here, and this is this is a big one. This is a big one to get the power. Nice. Get a punch Mr. Throw and do absolutely nothing to him. Alright, what does he do then? You can 3D him. You could 2D him and keep himself on 
two black orcs. He could just push him away and keep himself on these two guys. Don't like only two dicing. But I think getting onto two black orcs is quite nice. I really hate Mr. Throb. <laughs> I mean they're better than current orcs because of movement 5 aren't they <laughs> yeah Duran yeah <laughs> oh, it's D&D &D. Se se second air blood ball just took a million years but like it was cool all the extra wrinkles that they had but uh, you know it was obviously a, it was long No, oh, Blitzer. Blitzer for sure, Penamir. Oh, the Chaos Renegades is the worst. The Chaos Renegades is the worst thrower. The good thing for Mr. Throw is that the Chaos Renegades thrower is even worse than him. Wow, he's had a reroll block every single turn. This is fantastic. <laughs> he rolled a 1 in 9 and 2 dub skulls. <laughs> oh, he's not rerolling it. Oh wow! He wants to get—he wants to get his ball hit. Oh, he likes getting—he likes his balls fondled. Oh baby, he likes getting his balls fondled. Right. I can't get the assist though. Do I just want her in? One of him, hmm, can't get in there. I've got to do the roller play, haven't I? I've got to do the roller play. Don't even need a break tackle. Just GFI. Yes! <laughs> Murder kill! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Oh, I need to tag him, don't I? Or do I? Dodging with him would be nice to get him out. Yeah, no hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can get them from concessions. So, like, maybe he could, but yeah, unlikely. Unlikely with no hands, he yeah. <laughs> Ah, 
I think he's terrible, Piccolo. I think he's genuinely terrible. I would, well, I always say I would take him in Naf, but I wouldn't take Orcs in Naf. So, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't take him. Maybe I should have gone further over to stop him blitzing him, I guess. But he could have freed Mr. Thrall. Yeah, but if he gets any SPPs, it's SPPs that could have gone on a blitzer. And he's movement 5. Movement 5 is, is just not worth sure hands. Like, he's terrible. He's absolute garbage. Uh, an orc thrower, Sea Shark. It's, be it's because... Um, <laughs> it's because there was a guy... Um, who was new to Blood Bowl, and he didn't name any players on his team, except one of his players was an orc thrower, and he called him Mr. Throw. And, uh, you know, that was pretty funny. Go here for another 2D. <laughs> Keep the Black Orcs occupado. That was a disappointing non knockdown because I wanted uh, I wanted that long beard to be able to move. Never mind. The double GFI, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm in range to score. Screw it, I commit, commit a reroll with two. Oh, baby. <laughs> Get up there. No, it's a good point, Muppet, yeah. Yeah, it's a good point. I've got to foul with him as well, haven't I? I've got to foul with him. But it's good having the threat of it, isn't it? I like having the threat of the tuddy. Yeah, the old roll of fouls. I mean, he, well, he also wants to three dice with Mighty Blow, doesn't he? So. <laughs> Scott ever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a good strat. <laughs> Another one in nine. Oh god, he's one in nine so many times. Glorious. Glorious one in nines. <laughs> oh dear me. Yes, Muppet, yeah, there is a save. But it's not going to be taken uh, if if it's an option to not take it. I'll do the relevant block first, though. Right, well, in that case, it will be attempted. You can GF, make the GFI first. Because I can re-roll it and I can't re-roll this. Uh, 
<laughs> nah, it's too risky, isn't it? The two plus is just too risky. I mean, maybe I could have done. I guess, yeah, I could have stood him up and then blitzed him. I guess it could have. It could have been a thing. I don't want to risk that. Don't want to risk anything else. <laughs> Dub skulls there were brutal, weren't they? Thank God that wasn't on the uh, on one of the GFIs. blocks here. I mean, obviously they might not be in terms of attrition, but positionally they're terrible blocks, aren't they? <laughs> Actually winning DX, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, not winning, but it's nil-nil on his drive with the ball at his at his goal line. So, <laughs> while not technically up, and also two KOs as well. I mean, I definitely want to stall out the half if I can. Me, hey, Mister Throw. to throw. Disturbing. Is he not going to stand this guy? You can roll dice with him. Dirty dog. The old dice rolling. <laughs> I've been reliably informed that there are no dice though, so... I don't see how he can succeed. <laughs> God damn it. Out re rolls. I really want to say it's ambitious learning to play in one half, but I'm not going to say that. <laughs> hey, get out of town, you armor rage shitlord. Right, you can't even hit with him. He can base, but I think it's probably worth just going there, isn't it? And then one Dean him. In fact, we've got in the corner, he can't even base him. Do I one Dean him so he doesn't get served? I guess so. Good. Right, sorry, let's have a look at chat. Let's get the camera. Dickhead. <laughs> Good evening, Coffee Monster. Je pas me retrouver face à des points pareils. 
<laughs> Still about a fifty percent win rate. Glorious Tom. Hello, Ansi. And the death roll is 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 he KO'd? It's he's he's a KO roller. He, he KO'd a he KO'd a blitzer. This game, who had the ball? That was pretty amazing. It was a pretty amazing ball blitz play from the roller. Yeah, there's a chance of a foul, isn't there? Depending if he puts any pressure at all on. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Depends what you mean by nerf. I don't really like playing tabletop. Both down a skull. You. Ugh. Yes. Right, I'm not going to death roll a foul. <laughs> oh, can I get safe from him? Can I get safe from him? The GFI means he can only base. He can reach for a hit. GFI can get us pretty safe. He can only base. He could run down to cover. He can only base. Sweet. Right, so he can't base. He can base unless he gets pushed on the blitz. He can base unless he gets knocked over, well, pushed on the blitz, sort of on the block. So his only thing to do is stop his route to the ball. Which I guess this is good for. Just need a push on this one. Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. Failed to make the failed to make the foul, I apologize. But ball's totally safe, isn't it? It's not he could technically base it, but it's hard. <laughs> it's pretty hard for him to base it. A blitz with mighty blow, come on! <laughs> and it was an important positional blitz. <laughs> exactly, Penemir, yeah. Yeah, MDX Hunter, they changed that because obviously all the faces were identical. So they thought that exposed their... Uh, <laughs> And the laziness of, of uh, you know, coding or whatever. So uh, they changed it so that you didn't see their faces. Yeah, because they're all clones, yeah. Blitz with mighty push, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, what I mean is he had the blitz, didn't he? There was no one else that could have made that blitz except for him. So, I feel like that was quite reasonable. Mm. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> right, 3D with Mighty Blow. It's unlikely this, isn't it? One in about 400 odd. We're all right. I mean, the foul's pretty good with it. Like, if 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 it was if the ball was safe, I would have totally fouled rather than mighty blow blitz. But the ball wasn't safe, was it? The, the blitz was necessary to make the ball safe. Glorious. Glorious. He's down to nine men. Down this to throw. So he's down his worst player and his best player. <laughs> So, looking pretty nice. Can try to get the ball to Tony. Yes, yes. With plus two, I would definitely be more trying to engineer a foul with him towards the end of a drive. Absolutely. Two, three, four, five. So maybe he should go one forward or here. One, two, three, four, five. So he goes there, blitz him, go in there, then he can 2D him, he can 2D him, he can 2D him. Yeah, that works. Maple Lizard. No touchback. Genocide. Get these guys back. Seeing as there's a blizzard on. Glorious. <laughs> yeah, pile driving, exactly. Then if you've got pile driving, you get to make both of the moves on turn seven, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Long beard SPP with vanity passing. No, with one reroll, uh, with one reroll, got to be careful, haven't you, all the time with this team? Yeah, Necton. Yeah, it, was, it dominated the first half, though. To be fair, it dominated the first half. Sacked the ball, KO'd him. He stayed KO'd, so it's. Uh, it's been pretty glorious, actually. Might have won us the game. Yeah, yeah, power drive is going to be all right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> when I say all right, pretty terrible. It's still going to be terrible, <laughs> but it's going to be. If you get it at random, it's not going to be that bad, is it? That's what it is. <laughs> also, it can't get stand firm, can it? In the new, in the new ones, what, what can it have? Our armbar and stuff. But um, I think you could take random skills, and it wouldn't be that sad if you got. You wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't be that sad if you got a uh, power driver. You'd get some use from power driver, not a lot, but some.
Nice knockdown. Gets us a 2D on the Black Orc. <laughs> Didn't have to break tackle, Nectorn. <laughs> Just he was in his backfield, chained him, smashed him. Yeah, everyone is faster than dwarves. Yeah. No, things are slower, aren't they? Things are moving five. Oh, I guess there's tree men, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, but blocks 40, that's the thing, isn't it? Blocks 40. Whereas, like, Brawler... with In between Brawler and Juggernaut, the block isn't, isn't that good on him. And that, that block could have been for... Rando skills, which is got you know probably going to be guard and uh, multiple block and you know things you might at least want to use maybe. One hundred and eight k gym shards. I don't know some shots at the title. Um, think of something. Think of something, Tony, that you would want to spend them on, and then I'll see if I can make it happen. Yeah, there's twelve. There's twelve strength skills. Not nudes. Not nudes. <laughs> like thick skulls, obviously pretty bad on him. Some of the other things are pretty bad on him. But... Yeah, I was always going to leave this four plus dodge on the one D the ball, but he's not taking it. I think I was right to not reroll the dub skulls, even though it's a lot of pressure. He might still misplay here, mightn't he? There's a chance. Hey! He's really going to whine about that after I won in 36 the previous turn to give him the chance. Never mind. Right, I need a power here. This is a big one. This is a huge one. Need this power. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, God. Goes the fucking surf. He can blitz, I guess. <laughs> no, he can't. Oh, dot, dot, dot. Yep, he thought that was worth it after I've rolled two dub skulls. Never mind. <laughs> Duh, yeah, of course I would. <laughs> hmm, I wonder. One in eighty-one to get rid of a blitzer. Yeah, I think so. I think eighty times out of eighty-one, I remove your blitzer. Yeah, I think that's a pretty. <laughs> I think that's something that I would always try for. Yes. <laughs> Why do I stay against that line? Oh, 
what this one so he wouldn't just be able to blitz us for free if I follow then he can run through here easily can't he maybe I should have followed Yeah, because I've got this guy up, up as well, I haven't actually, yeah, I should have followed. I don't know, it's still been a 3 plus either way, wouldn't it, actually? Doesn't really matter. No, so I guess, actually, no, I think I was right, because I'd rather him dodge with the furthest forward player. Than, than dodge through and still have him left to react, wouldn't I? Like, I would have liked to have powered him on four dice, obviously. 75% knockdowns. Would have been nice to have ever powered him. Especially as it would have led to a surf, uh, surf blitz of the first, on the first one. Deal with failing some dice here. No. No. <laughs> oh god. No re rolls. Safe moves. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody in the cage, come on, let's ride. A little bit of black orcs on all sides. <laughs> a little bit of sure hands, that's okay. A little bit of pass so I can make a play. <sighs> Christ almighty. <laughs> this is a fucking disaster, isn't it? Uh, maybe I can roll as good as him. Yes. Halfway there. I really don't want to fail the dodge, do I? But like it's so good to make it. This is this is free this chance. Jesus, this is horrible. What a horrible what a horrible, disastrous turn of events. Could have just powered this guy on four dice. And didn't. I don't need to win 2 0 physics, I just need to not lose, don't I? <laughs> Thanks, Duard <Jordan>, Varnis. <laughs> yeah, it would have been super to have made the second dodge and have him out there, but I think. Making it a bit harder for him is alright, isn't he? He's only got one reroll left. Was it Bezor? Bezor, thank you very much, Bezor, for staying fantastic for 11 Hool Beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious and a lovely, a lovely bit of Mambo number five. <laughs> oh dear. 
Yeah, luckily, there's, yeah, he, he's very unlikely to score this turn, isn't he? Five plus, four plus. That was the thing. Like, yes, it would have been better to have made the second dodge and come to here, but it makes this score. Yes, he's going to power him. Like, obviously, there was no chance of him not powering him. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> at least, uh... At least in my mind, there was a chance of him not powering him. And that's what counts, isn't it? I don't have the reroll at all. <laughs> so this is a two plus to block him, isn't it? Which would then at least get him up. Or I could just stand him up. And I can 2D him. To get another guy back. Nah, the serve doesn't achieve anything. I gotta get men back in case. You know, to keep this guy under control if uh Maybe I should have double geified. Maybe I should have moved him last and double geified. I just didn't want people up here doing nothing. <laughs> not, not this half hour yet, eh? Not this half. I haven't enjoyed them. No, it's, I'm getting fucked by having one reroll this half. But this previous half was pretty good because the, the strength seven guy three diced the guy with the ball and KO'd him. So like the first half, the, door, the death roller was amazing. This half, it's been very frustrating. He's even got a reroll for this. Ah, maybe I should have moved him last and G double GFI. As unlikely as it was. There's almost a certain touchdown from now, isn't it? Not that drawing against orcs is bad, but I just hate it when people whine about the dice when they're dicing me. <laughs> oh dear. There you go. <laughs> neither C sharp, neither neither of those things. Obviously at least one got a runner. And if, I, if it was any amount of if it was any players, then uh... <laughs> not really. Quit fucking whining. <laughs> He's making lo multiple blocks with with one in nine blocks. Yes, he rolled two double skulls, but his blocks are one in nines. <laughs> he doesn't seem to realise. <laughs> <laughs> I had two seventy-five percent chances to knock down the guy who popped the ball. Both fail. He left the ball in range of a fucking death roller blitz when he accepted his two dice. When he when he accepted his double skull, it was with a ball in range of a three dice blitz. Which, while it's unlucky to roll a double skull, it's also pretty fucking moronic to. Uh, to leave your guy in blitz range of the of the death roller, isn't it? If you double skull and don't re-roll it. So Yeah. I mean it is easier for me to get dice with one re-roll, to be fair. It's a lot easier for me to get dice, because that's the weakness of the build, isn't it? It's quite easy to get diced with this build. Because you have um Because you have got the like the death roller, so you are you are at risk of getting diced. In fairness, <laughs> no, there's, there's no reasoning. There's no reasoning with people like this, is there? 
<laughs> it's not going to achieve anything. I'm just going to ignore him. <laughs> right, so I can hand off to the, the the guy there, whatever he's called. Blitzer. Make some irrelevant 2Ds. First. This is nice, isn't it, for the assist? Bish, bosh, bash. So they weren't that irrelevant, were they? They weren't that irrelevant 2Ds. Block him free. You could go here, I guess. There's no need to just run out like an idiot. This is uh, in a cage, isn't it? Kind of. <laughs> He's obviously in chat because he responded to what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is not a potato at all. I could have potato, but this was not a potato at all. Yeah, just give him the free ball pace. Um, there's gym shards that you can spend. Um, <laughs> the currency of the uh, thing, the Twitch currency of uh, thing that Tony Tony was saying he doesn't know what to spend them all on. Um, that's it. Right, we can we can deal with this actually here. This is actually going pretty well, I would say. He can base him. He can base him. Maybe you need at least a push. Good. Right, is there a thing I can do? Not really, you can just one, two, three, four, five, six. Or oh, maybe I should have gone over there so we've got a GFI as well. Oh, maybe I should have done. I wanted to get there so if the ball would stay in play, but I guess I should have gone just right to the sideline. One, two, three, four, five, six. Would have been a double GFI. I should have stood and stood on the sideline, shouldn't I? Shit. Shit. Well, shit. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what I should have done. Ah, oh, well. Doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, he's just on the sideline. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. I should have stood on the sidelines. Had about a double GFI twice. Oh, I guess him as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. I should have stood on the sideline there. Oh well, my mistake. I couldn't. I couldn't get. It. Far enough, even with a double GFI. Just gotta hope he fails a three plus. No, <laughs> he's making an extra one. It's not even one being. Oh my god. Oh god, he can't fail any dice rolls. There's another 3 plus, I guess. He might fail that. We, we aren't him. <laughs> yeah, he's gone for three three pluses, yeah. With no re roll. Guess it's dramatic pause. Wow. I mean, the chain push doesn't really matter, so not really. Like, there is a chain push, but I don't have the assist for it. I don't have the assist for the chain. So I can just 2D blitz and then dodge. So rather than him making a 3+, plus, he's letting me make a 3+. plus, Which doesn't seem the right way, but there you go. Pretty sure I can't free anyone up. I mean, this is a 1D. And then can't do, do anything. Yeah, he knows, he knows that he knows what dice, what's happening with the dice. Three plus to win. Yes! Glorious. Woo! <laughs> and got the toddy on Tony. Yeah, that was pretty crazy not making the blitz. <laughs> I think he had to. I think he had to make the blitz there. Glorious. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, like, it's it's tough, because obviously, like, you don't want to whine about the dice when you're streaming, but at the end of the day, you've just got, like, a rambly stream of consciousness for the entire match, haven't you? So you've kind of, you kind of can't help but talk about the dice while you're streaming, but there's no need to whine in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Movement seven can one turn, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was as risky. Exactly. Well, it was. It was a lot more risky because obviously, if you uh, if you get the push, you still ended up having to do stuff anyway. So, 
This map, this way was the best. Yeah, if it could have two D'd it, then um, then it's then it's looking pretty decent. But when you can't two D it, the push is still really bad anyway. All right, and B. Sorry, you've got to tell me when you've done that because uh, it doesn't come up automatically for me. NB Mark II, you can use them to highlight your message and ask Jim questions like, would you rather hook up with Mr. Thraw or a witch elf, but the witch elf has a strap on and expects to do pegging? Mr. Thraw. Well, I'd choose the witch elf then, wouldn't I? Obviously, I would, cho I would choose a pegging. <laughs> I would choose a witch elf pegging over a, just Mr. Thraw. Like a literal orc. He's probably going to literally tear you a new one, isn't he? Like, even though he's an orc, he's still, like, even though he's the worst orc ever, he's still an orc. He's still, like, he's more like a bear than a man, isn't he? He would just absolutely, it would be horrendous. It would be the worst experience of your possible life. There you go. Um, I've never seen it, actually, Humorous Chim, to ask you your question. I've never actually seen it. Um, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I cannot hey, I cannot answer that question he claims he claims a nine incher but um I've never seen it <laughs> Mr. Og wouldn't be <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, alright. If he if he if he had a tiny but he wouldn't be a gentle lover, would he? An orc, an orc would not even Mr. Thrall would not be a gentle lover, so I it would be <laughs> I would not enjoy that. <laughs> if that was an option then that'd probably be that. <laughs> yes, exactly real nice and yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. An absolutely horrific monster that would just tear you a new one. <laughs> yeah, that that did help with one turn. I don't believe he's got it on. To, I still don't believe the one turn is on here. <laughs> Very good, Tony. Very good. He cast this guy in the last turn. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Classic Blood Bowl. Classic Blood Bowl. <laughs> it wasn't even on, was it? He could have pushed him laterally and then maybe pushed him forward too, but he wasn't going to push him more than two. <laughs> sure hands. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, dear me. Yes! Got 50k for the Apple. I mean, got to go on Apple first, even though there's... I don't know, maybe don't. Maybe go the second reroll first. The second reroll is uh, re oh got leveled up Longbeard. Like it's it's horrible with one reroll. It's really like almost unbearably at the mercy of the dice with one reroll. So I think maybe save up for the uh, save up for the second reroll. Or oh, could go leader on the on him rather than block. Right? Could, ooh, movement. Uh, could have gone lead. Could go leader. He gets guard. Yeah, the ten is lovely. And like movement, movement on the runner is amazing. I would have gone leader <laughs> rather than block. I don't know what to do now. Right, but that was a gloriously lucky game, wasn't it? In the end, to make that three plus, and he did have horrendous luck the first three turns. Obviously, rolling the two double skulls, but he does have a lot of blockless blocks, and ultimately, the turn that lost him the game. Um, well, it's just his fault because he could have done safe moves before that block, couldn't he? It was a one in nine. Although it was a one in thirty six, it was a one in nine result. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>